Speaking of scary things on the internet. Oh. Do, 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 Kirk, do, 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 do. Kirkman is now being sued over animated show profits for Invincible. Creator of comic book properties such as The Walking Dead is now being sued over profits of the Invincible TV series. According to THR, artist William Crabtree says he co-created the series and is suing Kirkman for lost profits on the Amazon Studios adaptation. Crabtree, who was the colorist on the first 50 issues of the series, claims he was deceived by Kirkman and led to abandon his copyright on the property. Um, kind of interesting. Does this sound familiar to anybody? I mean... Yeah, Walking <laughs> Dead, him and Tony Moore. Yeah, Tony Moore. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they reached an agreement, and my hope is that uh, something similar of similar fashion happens because look where The Walking Dead is now. Look where that book is on the secondary market and the TV shows and the movie properties that are happening because we all want to see more of Invincible, right? I mean, I, I, I haven't heard anybody out there that truly had something bad to say about it. It was either they loved it or some people was just like, yeah, it's not my thing, and I moved on. Hey, they, and we got live action coming too. Yeah. Live action. Hee! Turtle man. <laughs> Rooster. I um I don't care if we get more invincible. Um I love Robert Kirkman. I always love Robert Kirkman for you know Battle Pope alone. And Invincible oh, yeah. to me what was about way... Irredeemable Ant Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Battle Pope, or I mean uh, Invincible to me is way better than Walking Dead. I think Walking Dead's good, but I think Invincible is way better. And, um, but I do like to see people that were involved at least get paid because that's kind of shitty, you know? Like, well, especially if he did get snaked out of his, yeah, out of it. I mean, um, and, and maybe he didn't, maybe we, yeah. we, I mean, we don't know, but like, I don't know, like the, the whole thing between him and Tony Moore that sucked, but Tony Moore was a big, big part of that that you know uh, that whole time period you know him and tony moore were together from the very beginning uh you know battle pope yeah tony moore didn't do invincible but they were you know friends at the time and you know uh walking dead was a big all those first 10 issues were big tony moore things he did all those covers and it sucks to see somebody get bill fingered you know or uh schuster or you know mm -hmm. or yeah. kirby yes Dick code, <laughs> yeah, dick code. It goes on and on, and um, yeah, I mean, it's it's crazy. I mean, it and it sucks to see it now. It's like that. That's always the question. Is like, why now, right? But um, I mean, they go into it talking about because there's a lot of money being made. It on is, it right and now. then you know, you're. I mean, he's, they're specifically talking about what media rights, right, and how he was kind of duped out of selling his portion of it so that because Kirkman said it would be easier to market um yeah I guess there is some truth in that because uh when there's so many copyright owners it makes it like sort of a hot like hot potato for a lot of studios because you're like all right now we got to clear with this many owners and if it's one owner it's a lot easier in general but um yo we got to you got to put shit in paper. Everyone's got to write down their agreements. Like, cause they said it was a handshake agreement, you know, or something. They said, they said it was an oral agreement. Oral which, agreement. Right. Um, when, how does that ever fly? I mean, I can totally see that conversation though. Like, yes, um, I also work with artists too, and I'm like promising them things too, you know, but, um, I've never broken promises or whatever. Because I don't care important. about getting rich. I do not give a shit. So, like, if any money comes, of course, I'm I'm actually, like, extra generous with my collaborators. Um, but, yeah, I mean, uh, it'd be, it'd be uh, interesting to see how this plays out. Because it's a collaborative art, you know? Yeah. It, they're, they're all collaborative arts. They don't work without the collaboration. So people need to be given their due and we need to well, up these artists they struggle the artists are really struggling because they they don't make uh they're not intellectual they don't hold the intellectual property rights so they're always like hustling and the writers can just chill out and make perpetual income and you know, well just... you made a you made a great point dank about collaborative art and how important it is to have to res to respect and, and, and your other people that you're collaborating with, because 
there's something that happens in a, in a lot of situations, whether it's bands, you know, uh, content creators, you know, whatever, something ends up happening where, you know, you've been creating with this person for so long and then something ends up happening that just takes all the wind out of those sails, whether it's a lack of, you know, lack of respect, you know, um, a money issue, something that happens and it's all and anything disrespectful happens it just takes those wins right out of that sales and, and you don't want to collaborate with that person anymore you know that and that's a very that happens a lot and it sucks when it happens it's very important to you know your character is so important in how you handle yourself in situations um in a collaborative effort yeah <laughs> It's like anyone that's been in school, man. You you've been on them group projects when <laughs> nobody's doing shit. Yeah, I just got the. I'm. I I hate to say it. I was one of those people. I was that asshole in high school, you know. But yeah, you're exactly right. You know, people are just sitting there like with their headphones on that don't care and that. Especially a master's stuff. class. I used to hate that bitch. that always be like, I'll be the one that consolidates all the input to make the paper have one voice. I'm like, nah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Nah. But this yeah. doesn't, huh? Well, right. and this doesn't sound like it's too like the whole Tony Moore thing before was like fifty percent, uh, is what I was reading in the article. Is he was claiming like up to like fifty percent? This was just twenty percent of uh, single sale proceeds and ten percent of any revenue generated from other film or television. This th- doesn't sound like a lot comparatively. No, I mean when. You, Depending on how you look at it, from an overall deal, no. From him wanting his money, it could it, it, it could be significant to him. So, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. From why, if if Kirkman did screw him out of this, I don't know if he did or not. But if he did, you know, ten percent is that just a deal that was overlooked <laughs> and not followed up on, or it, it doesn't seem a lot to like not be able to give it up part that way. Yeah, man. Knowing is half the battle. Yep. <laughs> well, how about this one? I guess maybe this is the thing. Like, keep your trust circle small and tight, and anybody outside of that circle don't trust anybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I was watching a show the other day, or watching some some video the other day, and they were talking about how, like, with like this this it was this mafia guy, and he had like, you know. 300 confirmed kills and hitman and this and that and he's like call of duty he's like i fucking love animals though and i love animals because animals it's unconditional love all the time he goes humans will uh, uh, will stab their mother in their back you know what i mean so we're we're a crazy the one of the crazy things about humans is we always want to be on you know there's a strive to be on top and some people will have that strive to do anything to get there so um, I couldn't be in your business, Dan. Like I couldn't be in that business, man, where you have to deal with that on a, uh, you know, honestly, I think the people that are focused on like their own, um, goals or whatever, just like accumulating power and wealth, they, they burn out. Bad things happen to them. I think it's the artists that kind of make work for others and help others. And they're the ones that thrive and, and create more generative energy around them. As a po- and because like when shitty people fail, we celebrate it, you know. But when like giving people fail, everyone wants to know what's next because they want to keep supporting them. And I can name tons of artists that go into these two camps. So people get the universe tends to give people what they deserve in the end. Um, yeah. That's one of the things I did like comic. Pu- uh, a lot of publishers started doing within the past few years is you don't just see writer and artist on on the front of books anymore. You're starting to see you know, the colorists and, and the letterers and giving those due credit.